Hey everybody, this is Mr. Stavis here. I'm going to give you an example of talking to the text as we look at the first two paragraphs of our glycolysis reading. Basically what I'm going to try to do is just put my thoughts down in the margins um, as I go and just sort of make my thoughts visible on paper. So let's get started. Glycolysis, I'm starting right here, means breaking glucose. Okay, well there's my definition. That sounds pretty important. So breaking glucose, maybe I'll just box that off. And that's exactly what happens. It's the process of breaking a glucose molecule in half. Okay. Each of the halves created are called pyruvic acid. All right, sounds like a key term. I'll underline that. Since glucose molecules have six carbon atoms, each pyruvic acid molecule has three carbon atoms. So let me stop and think about that. So I've got six, two, three, four, five, six. That's my glucose. And then I'm going to break it. And then I'm going to be left with two molecules that have three carbons each. Okay, so that's what glycolysis is, breaking glucose in half. All right, let's keep reading. Glycolysis happens after glucose molecules move from your bloodstream to your cells through facilitated diffusion. Hey, I know that term, facilitated diffusion. Yeah, that reminds me of what we did a few weeks ago. And it occurs out in the cytoplasm of the cell. So we're in the cytoplasm, so I'm thinking we're outside of organelles. So ladies and gents, you can see what I'm doing is I'm making my thoughts apparent on the paper with little diagrams, little notes to myself, but I'm also still boxing and underlining things as I go. This is the type of work we want to see you do as you read through glycolysis and then Krebs cycle. And we want to see that your papers are really marked up with your thoughts uh, throughout both of the readings. Here we go.